Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Umazuma underscore 77. Thanks for the suggestion, Boomer Zuma. You asked, how does composition C4 actually work? Ah yes, C4, the mysterious white block of kaboom that every action movie hero seems to carry in their backpack like it's Play-Doh. But what actually makes it tick, or rather, what makes it not tick until it's supposed to? Let's unpack the science, the chemistry, and the sheer chaotic genius behind one of the world's most famous explosives. Right here on Explaining Everything. If you've ever seen a movie where someone dramatically slaps a block of white clay onto a door, sticks in some wires, and runs away yelling, fire in the hole, that's usually C4. But in real life, composition C4 is way less dramatic and way more scientific. C4 is a plastic explosive, which means it's an explosive that can be molded by hand. Yes, literally, like clay. Its main ingredient is RDX, short for Research Department Explosive or Royal Demolition Explosive, depending on who you ask. RDX is the part that actually goes boom. But RDX on its own is a bit too sensitive, kind of like that one friend who takes everything personally. So to make it stable, manufacturers mix it with plasticizers, binders, and a bit of motor oil. The plasticizers keep it soft and flexible, the binders hold it all together, and the oil helps with consistency. The result? A substance that's so stable, you can literally drop it, hit it with a hammer, or even set it on fire, and it won't explode. In fact, you could toss it in a campfire and it would just burn like a weird candle from a spy movie gift shop. So, to summarize, C4 is basically the Play-Doh of explosives. Moldable, stable, and totally chill until it's told otherwise. Here's where things get fun, or terrifying, depending on your perspective. C4 doesn't explode from impact or heat. It needs something called a detonator, which sets off a shockwave moving faster than sound. We're talking speeds of about 8,000 meters per second. That's 26,000 feet per second, or roughly way faster than you can run away. That shockwave forces the molecules inside C4's RDX to suddenly rearrange themselves in a very energetic way. The chemical bonds break apart and instantly form new ones, releasing a huge amount of energy as heat and gas. Basically, every molecule of RDX goes from being a calm, organized little chemical to, oh no, we're rearranging our atoms! in a few microseconds. To put it another way, if normal burning is like sipping your morning coffee, detonation is like mainlining 10 espressos at once and then running through a wall. This rapid reaction releases gases that expand faster than the speed of sound. And that's what creates the blast wave that destroys everything nearby. And since it's a detonation, not combustion, there's no big fireball, like in Hollywood. Real C4 explosions are more of a boom than a whoosh. Movies exaggerate because audiences like shiny flames. But in reality, the power's in the shockwave, not the visuals. You might be wondering, how can something that powerful be so safe to handle? The secret is that C4's molecules are chemically stable at room temperature. That means the atoms inside aren't eager to react until a huge shockwave tells them to. 
Think of it like a party full of introverts. They'll just stand around quietly until someone yells, Free pizza! And suddenly, chaos erupts. That's why the military loves it. It's reliable, safe to transport, and easy to shape for controlled demolitions or breaching walls. Soldiers can even cut it with a knife or press it into cracks without worrying about accidental detonation. The only way to make it explode is with a blasting cap which uses a small charge, usually lead azide or PETN, to produce that initial supersonic shockwave. That shockwave is what wakes up the RDX and tells it it's party time. Without that precise chain reaction, nothing happens. You can literally shoot a bullet into a block of C4 and it'll just shrug it off. The only way to make it explode is the proper way, with the detonator. So yes, despite the name, Composition C4 is weirdly polite. It waits for formal instructions before doing anything destructive. Let's zoom in for a moment. When C4 detonates, it undergoes a chemical decomposition reaction called detonation not combustion. That means it doesn't burn in the traditional sense. It decomposes instantly into gases like nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. This transformation happens in microseconds and releases energy at a rate that's genuinely mind-boggling. The pressure inside that explosion can hit around 34,000 pounds per square inch. That's like stacking 20 cars on your big toe. All that expanding gas pushes outward in every direction, creating that iconic boom and the shockwave that can rip through steel or concrete. And because it's so dense and uniform, the explosion is incredibly predictable. Engineers can calculate exactly how much C4 they need to cut through a specific thickness of metal which is why it's a demolition expert's dream come true. In short, C4 works because of science, precision, and controlled chaos. So, to wrap it up, C4 isn't just boom stuff. It's a masterpiece of chemistry designed to be stable until it's commanded to unleash an insane amount of energy in an instant. It's the kind of explosive that won't panic under pressure, won't go off by accident, and won't explode unless you really mean it to. So next time you see a movie where someone casually pokes a block of C4 with a stick and it explodes in a giant fireball, just remember, real C4 doesn't play by Hollywood's rules. It plays by chemistries. If you enjoyed learning how C4 actually works, hit that like button and subscribe for more explosive explanations. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.